So, for those who don't know, okay. ladies and gentlemen, um, through, what was it, last Monday, last Tuesday, whatever it was? Yep, some point. Uh, at some point earlier in the week, uh, a leaked screenshot of the supposed next Assassin's Creed game leaked really blurry, terrible quality looking image that showed a um, man, didn't have a hood on, hard to tell if he was an assassin, but he had weapons on him, uh, heading into what looked like some sort of tomb sarcophagus area of uh, Egyptian, I don't know, temple, I don't know fucking all the details of it, you don't see much, but it supposedly it's been, it was actually first leaked like a month ago on Reddit, but no one picked up on it until the last week, and now people are talking about it everywhere. Mm. And since then, all <clears throat> of the um, all of the leaks, the two links, because I had two links in my video of the two Reddit posts, all been taken. The pictures been taken off both of those. Yes, they have. So you can't actually see them unless you've saved them, which I think everyone saved them. I've saved them. You've saved them. I have. It's not a big deal. And it's on the stream now for all of you to see um, the lovely supposed picture. And it has like things like – it has the proper symbols we'd expect from current Assassin's Creed games from Syndicate of when you set a marker on your map for it to highlight like that, have a little symbol um, mm. and a distance meter. And then obviously has lots of webbings at the front of this tomb, whatever it is. But – Interesting, James. What what overall do you make of it? Is can you tell us? Do you think this is real? I mean, personally, I do think it's real. I think at this point, there's been nothing to prove it's fake. Whereas with every other leak we've got, we've been able to prove it fake within at least a day. And this one, is, I mean, still, there's no reason to think it's fake. Uh, personally, I don't think. But like, as well, there's no there's no reason really to think it's real either because it's just it's kind of just really nothing. Um, I mean the 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 marker whatever the fuck the marker is for it you know it's most games have those so like I, that's probably like the whole thing's probably oh, I don't know D- depending on how oh, I don't know I don't know it I mean it, it seems real the fact that it was up for a month and no one saw it like maybe that but then it got traction it. and now they're gone and now they're gone yeah exactly like was that Ubisoft getting rid of it or was that the guy who leaked it being like oh, i don't want to get caught either way it's interesting um, i mean either way i did well i mean hmm, i think well i think ubisoft would have taken it down in my opinion <clears throat> yeah i think that makes it's more, sense. more than likely right um what why do you th- how do i explain this oh it's marvel fan number one is it a correct our historical accuracy kings it this, says it's from geezer the it pick is on the valley picture. of the kings it's from Giza. it says it at the bottom of the picture if you read the text i, I don't fucking care like can we let's and what doesn't matter but i love you here thanks for joining us um please like the stream as well and uh, does, it, does it actually say that at the bottom of the picture i le- legit can't i couldn't read, read it see i could not read that that was tough to see so i'm not really sure what it is um but it's interesting that it says that it's in <clears throat> it's Giza. oh it does actually yeah i can see it I can't see it. It says it no right idea. there. Giza underscore three. That's what it says. Okay. Interesting. So, wh- All right. if this is real, like, <clears throat> what can you tell from the screenshot? Because, it, I mean, the biggest thing for me is the fact that it looks like pure dick. Like, yeah. terrible. What's going on? Well, I think it'd, it'd be similar to Unity, wouldn't it? In, you know, it's there because it, you've seen it. It's um, people keep saying it. They're like, "Oh, it looks like shit." I'm I'm upset, but like, I was I mean, watching. Obviously, <clears throat> I'm not saying it looks like shit. So it the game's gonna look like shit. I'm saying it looks like shit. So is it really Assassin's Creed? Well, probably because I, there's this video that I always liken it to, which is um, of Assassin's Creed Three when they were first bringing that out and shit and developing it and stuff. And there's a, there's videos of it where they're, like, documenting the development. And there's, like, images where it just looks horrible. And, like, that's obviously not what the game looked like. But obviously they're testing shit. They're trying to make sure everything's fine. And they don't want a perfected version because it's mostly to test if physics work and stuff, I suppose. Not the graphics. So, in that case, they're running it in, you know, a, you know, <clears throat> really weak rendering mode. So it's just so they can get, you know... The basics right and so that could be what it is which would make sense <clears throat> so this is from as well this is um at least over a month old 
at the yeah. least <clears throat> at the really early January, late December. Which is interesting because the game's supposed to be an alpha if it's going to come out at the end of the year, right? Yeah. According to well, Eve, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, according, according to Eve. So let's just say that this screenshot got put up firstly on... Actually, what did the first... The person that put it up, what did he say? Where the fuck did he get that from? He didn't say anything. All he did was post... It, the ti- it was just titled uh, uh, AC Empire and then just a picture. That was it. He didn't reply to any comments or anything. He just posted the picture. And then a few fucking months later, um, no, like a month, yeah, a month and a half later or whatever, he just posted the picture again, but like it was like cropped. So it was just this one that I have on stream now because the other one's a bit wider. It doesn't really show anything else, so I won't bother with that one. But this one was the one that was posted uh, about a week ago. And it just said something like, do you know what this is? Or like something like that along those lines. And that was the title. And then just the picture again. Didn't reply to any comments. Didn't make a post or anything like that interesting so i don't know but that's the one that that everyone noticed was the second one because they put it on the I official mean, assassin's creed reddit yeah okay <clears throat> excuse me uh, well there's i mean obviously everyone's been talking about the guy's got a greek shield obviously got a sword um interesting period wouldn't it be interesting right but they've talked about this potential trilogy greece mm-hmm. rome uh Egypt, starting off in Egypt, but the characters, and perhaps, perhaps he's Greek though. You know what That'd I mean? That'd be interesting. What, yeah. And then he goes back to Greece, um, in the next game. You know, potentially that the fact that his shield's Greek. I mean, it could just mean, you know, obviously there's trading, and I mean, I don't know the trading routes of, um, that period of history. I'm not that sort of expert, but there's, I'm sure there's ways to get a Greek shield if you're an Egyptian somehow, if you've travelled. Or you've bought it from a merchant or from a travel. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's Plus interesting it's to game, know. So. You are also correct, sir. It is also just a fucking video game. <laughs> uh, which we forget sometimes when we're talking about this, but it is. Yeah, but there's, there's ways around still, it. Still worth noting that, uh, you know, interesting, right? Mm. And thank God it's ancient, so there's no bullshit guns or anything. How good's that, James? Thank fuck. It's going to just be assassin's creed like it's just gonna like it's gonna be just like the core assassin's creed with you know some new ways of playing the game so obviously it's gonna feel new but it's gonna play hopefully like classic assassin's creed with you know primary primary combat being you know swords and shit which is fucking good it's good news yeah that's true so what if he's a slave um, well, this is the this is the interesting thing. So, and this is like a, uh, the Ma- Marvel fan, whatever his name is, um, who I mean has always seemed to because he's been around um, since these Egypt leaks, at least that I know of. And he, I mean, he seems to know what he's talking about. He seems to be pretty into this sort of history. And he brought up the Ptolemaic Ptolemaic period or Ptolemaic kingdom where the Greeks ruled Egypt. I think I pronounced that right. Okay. Um, which was in. Uh, I believe, let's find the period of that was, uh, 323 BC, which ended the death of Cleopatra the seventh and the Roman conquest in 30 BC. So by that logic, it's still like ancient times, but it's after the big Egyptian dynasty where these pyramids would be old. Um, like they'd be thousands of years old. But it'd also be in a period where there's a hidden blade, confer- like it's after the first hidden blade usage. Yeah. And again, this is another thing I've always talked about, which when people say that's the first time a hidden blade was used, it says in the game the first recorded time a hidden blade was used. It yeah, could have yeah, been yeah. used before it, but that wasn't known to current historians yeah, true. in the world of Assassin's Creed. But um, I'm just saying um, that... In just to use that logic, let's say it is the first time this would fit in that hidden blades would be a thing. You have to have hidden blades in Assassin's Creed. You have yeah, to. Sure. It's like having Star Wars with no lightsabers. It's fucking retarded. Um, oh no, nah. there's Darth Vader. Yeah, shut your fucking mouth. But you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> there has to be lightsabers. Has oh, to be. Did, will there be lightsabers in the Han Solo movie though? Probably not. Yeah, but that's a, it's called a Star Wars story. Han Solo Star Wars story, right? It's a, but it's a Star Wars movie. No, but, no, but that's not what I mean. What it, what it is, though. It's like it's like saying, 
Let me use an example here. It's like being like Blackbeard, a Black Flag story. What? Well, I'm just saying it's a character that's not a Jedi or not an assassin. He's not going to have a... Like, there's not going to be lightsabers in it. I don't expect there to be lightsabers in the Han Solo movie. Well, I don't expect there to be lightsabers in a Blackbeard. What? I don't expect there to be Hidden Blade if you had a game about Blackbeard set in the Black Flag universe. Oh, they'd do it though, wouldn't they? What? Oh, Black, 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 Blackbeard Jade, would have a Hidden Blade. <laughs> if Ubisoft made a Blackbeard game, he'd have a Hidden Blade and he would have a fucking bag on his head. And he'd shout at people. <laughs> Oh, we're getting off track. Fucking Jack the Ripper DLC. Okay. But that's an interesting period. I don't know, like, I don't know if you can confirm, but that would fit into some interesting periods of why there'd be interconnecting travel during, let's say, different games if this character had multiple games um, between Greece, Egypt, and that sort of thing. Yeah. And this whole, uh, that kingdom, I wouldn't mind checking out what countries are affected by that kingdom, actually. Um... Quite a big area too, so I mean, that could be interesting as well because there could be a lot of places we could visit, and this character could have a lot of interesting places to visit with multiple games. Yeah, true. Good the original talk- leak did it not say uh, Rome, Egypt, and Greece? Was that not the three? Yes, it did say that. So that's a thing. People keep telling me though, whenever I bring it up, they're like, "No, you couldn't have Rome, Egypt, and Greece in the same thing because time periods they don't match up or something like that." I don't know. They'd, they'd just be. They wouldn't be the the highlight Egypt you'd want. They wouldn't be the highlight Greece you'd want. They wouldn't be the highlight Rome. You can't get the three highlight periods you'd want of all of them. But you can get a period with all of them fitting in. You yeah, can't I'm get sure the prime, be fine. Ancient, Would it... prime ancient Greece, prime um, hmm. ancient Egypt. But you can get at this stage it would be pretty prime Greece to a certain level. Um, Egypt past its prime, Rome a little before its prime, but still like. Pretty decent all round. There'd be no Colosseum in Rome um, or anything, mm. but there'd be, you know, it'd be Rome, like really, but we've got that Rome before in a way. So this would be a different take. It'd be like, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that's true. 